All right then, in our last video, we saw the overall demo of this MLKit application and in this video, we will start building this project from the scratch. To do that, first we need to integrate Firebase into our project. To do that, first we need to go to the console.firebase.com and you have to uh, give the project name. So I will give it as Firebase or as MLKit demo. I will give the name as MLKit demo. So and click continue right now we don't need any analytics over here you can simply create the project this will take one or two minutes of time okay yeah this is done with the setting up the project then we need to click continue and go here see here i am just doing it for the ios so click ios and here i need to provide the bundle identifier here. so it is expecting a bundle identifier here so i need to provide the bundle id here um so i'll get this bundle id from my project which i opened it in the xcode uh, like either you can get it from the xcode too otherwise this is the same project that's what we are working right now from uh, this studio i have an ios library so i have a mac machine and i have an xcode installed in the machine that's the reason i opened the xcode here you can get it from the uh, vs code too just copy this and paste here then you can register that so once you're done with the registering it provide your dot info dot playlist file it is it will download so after downloading so drag and drop to your xcode otherwise to your visible studio so it is it is downloaded over here uh, so i'm just dragging and dropping and i'm just placing in my uh, project folder and i'm closing this and i don't need anything apart from this so and i don't need anything over here i can simply delete it because if you see this file is already imported over here so no i don't need this i'm just simply moving it so i have not explained much about the firebase integration part uh, but if you want to learn more about the firebase i have a separate tutorial playlist i have a separate playlist which is a flutter firebase so here you can go and watch this i'll sh i'll leave the link in the description here you can see the entire firebase introduction and also how you can set up the project so everything was explained over here it's a separate playlist uh, you, you can watch it so we are done with uh, setting up the firebase project into your uh, flutter application next you need to import few packages to import the few packages the first thing you need to go to your pub.dav and from that you have to import this package which is firebase ml open your project and inside your pubspec.yaml go here under flutter dependencies just import this along with this you need to import one more package which is nothing but image picker because this this image picker helps you to pick image from your gallery so this is image picker so i need uh, this one okay you are done with you are done with this just save it so if you see it is downloading all the related packages for these two uh, all the dependent uh, all the related uh, files it is downloading related to this package now you are done with this and for ios if you see the readme file you have to add few of this uh, keys into your info.plist file so we will see how we can do this and first you have to so i have an xcode right so i'm just opening it in my xcode so here go to your info.p list and here you can import the keys related to your gallery and the camera so right now you're not working with the camera so you're just working only with the gallery so that's why i'll add uh support the files related to the camera uh, gallery only and so i'll add these two keys which is photo library edition and as well as photo library this one um, photo library users description so these two i'm done with adding these two and now we are done for the image picker image picker sorry and uh, next we need to do it for the firebase ml firebase ml vision for this firebase ml vision so if you see uh, to do it for the android we just need to add these dependencies to your build.gradle file and as well as these two lines 
to your manifest file but for iOS you have to add this to your pod file so the thing is just copy this minimize it and if you go to your project close this xcode and if you go to your project you see under iOS you have a pod file just open this pod file at the end just add these four lines and close it and just close it and what you need to do is just simply run this start debugging yeah you can see the project has run successfully and without any errors and all the related port files have been updated and everything got installed and you can see it's configured successfully and xcode build has run so one important thing i want to inform you up here is if you are running it in xcode or means if you are running it in ios i request you to please change your deployment target to more than nine so by default it has eight i'll show you uh, i'm just going to the ios here and here what i have done is by default your deployment target for the xcode it will show as 8.0 so I request you to change so if previously it is 8.0 I have changed it to 12.1 if you change it to more than 9 like it's a better version if you can change it to 9 and above uh, you don't have you don't see any issues related to the port everything got success and everything got everything will run here this is how we are done with the setting up firebase into our flutter application and we have uh, added all the dependencies uh, to our flutter application we added firebase ml vision as well as image picker dependencies to our project and we are done with setting up everything next we need to start coding the application that's what we'll see in our next video